Oh, what do we have here? Nintendo Switch Doom Classics Collection. With the collectible card. I'm geeked. Feel like I'm 10 years old again. A limited run. It's a physical copy of Doom 1, 2, and 3 and the Nintendo Switch. I'm excited. Um, if you follow either one of my channels or if you look at my living room here. Here, let me rip this off too because this idiot is pushing that death shot. So you can take that and shove it up his ass. There, that's better. So back to this. Like I said, I'm a huge Doom fan, and the uh, artwork mimics the 1995 Ultimate Doom release. When they added uh, the original Doom with another episode. And as you can see, the plastic is still on it. So it came in this box over here. When I seen the mailman walking up with a limited run box, I knew what was in it, and I started getting all excited. And I figured, why not document my genuine reaction? Because like I say, see the plastic still on there. Let's appreciate the uh, artwork. Classic collection. Side. Other side. There you go, right there. Bottom. And the front. All right, so let's put this thing on the tripod. Start opening this thing up. All right, let's let's appreciate. Also, too, if you buy this, make sure they include the card or the steel case. Um, right there, Doom the Classics Collection, limited run, forever physical, is the logo. Limited run. They're a company that puts out physical copies of usually digital only games. It's a cool concept, but why? Do individuals like myself and others who desire a physical copy of a game we pay for, why do we gotta pay up the ass for it? This, you had to pre-order this back in April. I didn't, I just found out about it like last week. Um, I got it off eBay. It, it, it was pre-ordered for 80 bucks and I think I paid 120 out the door. So that ain't too bad, just a 50% markup. But, all right, enough talk, let's get this thing open. And we'll do the best we can to open it without damaging the box. Because one, I don't have many regrets in life, but one of them was one Christmas my grandma bought me the Ultimate Doom for PC, the original, back when it came out in 95. And she bought me Doom 2 also. And not having the original boxes, yeah, speaking of those games, I don't even know where the actual CD ROM is, but. I always regretted throwing those boxes away because I've made my uh, living room like one of my friends described it as a Doom Museum and just to have the original boxes would be awesome because I got the original Doom 3 box and so on for the PC. So that's why I appreciate about this is like I say it's the ultimate Doom. So this slips right off. There's other um, unboxing videos on this. You know, and like I say, they've been uploaded probably for months now. But I figured, why not put my own up there? Because people don't necessarily, well, they watch you for what you're doing, but your, your personality that comes out on the camera. So Doom 1, that came out originally in 1993. Uh, Doom 2 came out in 1994. And then Ultimate Doom, they added an extra episode to the original with artwork like this in 95. And we got Doom 3. They're all physical games. Oh man, I'm excited. All right, here we go. Let's pull this off. Wow, look at that. Look at that. All right, let's leave this here and we'll put it to the camera. First off, the whole reason you bought it, for me at least, Doom's the classic collection. Oh, the actual game in physical form. That's amazing. One player. I've seen other unboxing videos where 
The guy tested it to make sure all three games were on the cartridge. So he put his switch in airplane mode and then he was able also to play all the all three games. Because sometimes switch will like I know I bought the Resident Evil uh, Revelations package and it was only the first game that was on a disc or a physical cart. Yes, look at that, look at that. Oh, that's beautiful. Never before I've been so excited to see a little... Reminds me of the old Game Boy. I always had the old Game Boy back in the day. And it's got a reversible... Let's get this out without bending it up. Reversible cover, artwork from Doom 2, or the original Doom. I'm just keeping that one. Excellent. And these are things you don't see that much actual instruction books on the uh, the backstory of the game and it seems like these game companies would listen to their um, what should I say their customers you know we want physical games I don't care about your damn digital crap you don't know nothing Digital just means you're allowed, they are, are allowing you to play with it, to utilize it, but you don't own nothing. Doom the Classics. I didn't even need to buy this, because I already had all the Dooms on the Switch, unfortunately in digital, but better than nothing, but now I actually have a physical backup copy. Alright, then this thing right here, I always, was, uh, I always liked this design on the wall, but this is the steel bookcase for the cartridge. Oh yeah, look at that, even on the inside. Very cool, very cool. Then we got a keychain right here. This is good because if you notice it'll match my wearable helmet right up here on the wall. I ought to do a video of that on my head or something, but then you wouldn't be able to hear me. Alright, so we got a keychain of the original helmet. This is a, it's actually a USB drive. Oh, look at that, version 1.666. And I've watched videos where this part of it flips out. So I'm just going to keep it in the plastic because I'm just going to put it up on my wall for decoration. And this, oh, it is pretty heavy. It's like metal. Listen to this. Here, listen. It's legit metal, metal key card red card from the original Doom. Awesome, very awesome. In high school everyone had uh, their own folder, student folder, and I had original Doom 1, 2, and then two episodes of Final Doom on my student computer and I could play Doom on any um, <laughs> computer in the, the high school. And then I had a vocational class at another school where everyone just played Doom and Death Quake matches on, online. It was a networking class, and we did our networking all right. Here's a great printout of original artwork for Doom, Doom 2, and of course, Doom 3. A lot of fans have mixed reactions on Doom 3. I don't mind it. I, I, I appreciate how you could finally look up and down on the Dooms, and they attempted to take it in a different direction. And this is cool too, the original printout, excuse me, not the original, but a reprint of the 1996. Wow, look at that. I've, I've searched this thing for years and it ain't an original, it's a reprint. Yeah, dynamite. This is cool, this is way cool. All right, so we got that. Let's go through it again. Man, this is awesome. Got the disc. The helmet, key card, oh yeah, steel book, this, and that. All right, so that's my unboxing of the classic collection of Doom for the Nintendo Switch. And if you're a Doom fan, I recommend you get it. I got the mid-grade package with all this. The Super Deluxe package has all this, and then it's got a a shadow box of this original artwork and I guess it lights up and plays the original music and if you want to pay three four hundred whatever they're charging for it now that's go ahead but
So that's my review. I give it two thumbs up.